write the following numbers in the place value table first number is 0.4 what you have to do is that for this number you have to make a table and you have to assign the digits to their respective place values like in this example you have 0.4 so 0 is at the units place that is ones place and 4 is at the tenths place right so we have already drawn a table and just in order to save the time I have just pre-drawn here with some extra place values like hundreds then tens then uh, hundreds and then thousands because in this example you have only two place values right that you are going to use that is zero is at the ones place so just assign the digits to their respective place values zero is at the ones place so zero comes here and four is at the tenths place so four comes here okay let's take some other example let's say that you have 0 0.46 0 0.46 now in this one 0 is at the ones place 4 is at the tenths place 6 is at the hundredths place right let's take few more if it is 4 6 7 now at the ones place again you have 0 at the tenths place you have 4 at the hundredths place you have 6 at the thousandths place you have 7 Let's say that your number is this time one, sorry, 10 point four zero eight. if this is the number. Now, decimal point comes here. Towards the left of the decimal point is always the ones place and then we have the tens place. So at the tens place we have what? We have one. At the ones place for it, we have 0. This is a tenths place because it's right to the decimal point. So at this tenths place we have 4. At the hundredths place we have 0. And at the thousands place, that is this one, you have we have 8. Right? There's no need to fill hundredths place because we don't have any digit anyway. But if you want to fill at the even at the hundredths place, you can fill what? 0. What it tells? It tells that there are no hundreds in this number that simply means that there are no hundreds so you can simply put zero anyways you don't need to put it anything here because that will not be asked to you because you have to only draw the table that will have tens ones tens hundreds and thousands what if you have number like let's say 710 we have 700 10 point zero zero eight. What if this is the condition? Now, this zero is at the ones place, one is at the tens place, and this is at the hundreds place. So seven comes at the hundreds place, one comes at the tens place, zero comes at the ones place. This again of a decimal is zero that is at the tens place, zero is at the hundreds place, and eight is at the thousands place. You want to see more? Let's take last one more. So if your number is three 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 point three zero three three hundred thirty three point three zero three, right? You read it like this: three hundred thirty three point three zero three. Never read it as 303, no, 303. Read every digit separately after decimal point. Now in this one, you have 3 at the hundredths place, 3 at the tenths place, 3 at the ones place, then comes the decimal point, therefore to the left of the, to the right of the decimal point lies the tenths place, that is 3, and then it's 0, and then again it's 3. So this is the way we actually uh, fill the place value table by assigning digits to their respective place values.